Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Well folks, today is the 55th anniversary of the Apollo moon mission. So in honor of that, we're going to be building the Apollo Lunar Excursion Module, otherwise known as the LEM, or just the Lunar Lander. And as you can see here, I built it in the end to try to give it that being on the moon vibe. Now this is slightly larger than it should be. It's probably closer to 1.5 or 2 to 1 scale because I wanted to have room for an interior as well as a door we could actually walk through. So it is slightly bigger, but that did allow us to get a little bit more detail into it. So this is what it looks like here. Now let's get right into our build. Ridge Fried Trains is a channel for adult rail vans and minecrafters and is not intended for children under 13 years of age. This is a fan channel for fun. We are not affiliated in any way with Microsoft or Mojang. This is not an official Minecraft product. And as a friendly reminder, I do not take requests at all. Thank you and enjoy the video. So we're going to start off on what will be the very center engine underneath. So take polished deep slate stairs and put four of them in a pattern like this. In the middle, do a column of two orange wool. So it sticks up like that. And then on this second layer here, take your orange wool and we're going to do three blocks coming off all four sides of that center block. Then where that sea lantern is, is marking where the front is. So make sure you keep track of which side the front is. So we're gonna come on the front right here, put three orange wool here, three on this side so it's three wide, and it looks like this. Then on top of this, on the third layer, we're gonna do this U shape of orange wool up here like that. Then that middle part's actually gonna be inside on the floor, so we're gonna put two netherite blocks in the middle like this. Then on this side, put an orange wool here, black wool here. In this gap, do a two by two of black wool on the top two layers. Here, add three orange wool, and then start back here on the top, and just do another two rows of orange wool up here on top, so it looks like that. Then we're gonna swing around down here. We're gonna put a birch sign on this block, and we're gonna type United on the first line, it states on the bottom line, all in capital letters, and hit that with a glowing sack. Then we'll come over on this left hand side. On this side, one block back, we're going to put an orange wool here, black wool here. Behind that in that gap, put two orange wool, then two black wool here. Then on the front of this block, put a single item frame. Back here, do two orange wool here a two by two up here so that this side is three blocks wide like this with a black one in the corner then we'll do the back so right here add two orange wool then two here then here an orange wool black wool and an orange stained glass paint here and here then here two orange wool up here a two by two here then here an orange wool a black wool and an orange stained glass paint here and then we'll come back up to the front as the basic base is done. Now take acacia fence on the middle of the section, put two here, one here. Then change this corner one to a sideways acacia fence gate for the landing leg. Repeat on the middle of this side, so two here, one here. Change this to a fence gate. Then repeat on the back in the middle. So two here, one here. Change this to a fence gate. And of course, do the same thing on the middle of this bar side here. Then underneath this fence that's sticking out, we're gonna change this block to an orange wool for the landing pad and put another acacia fence there. Repeat here, a fence, and change the block under it to an orange wool. Repeat the process for this leg. And one more to go on the back, do the same thing right here as well. Then we're gonna swing around on this side of the back and we're gonna put a single birch sign right here and on the other side of the back right here put a birch sign here 
And again, we're going to type United States in all capital letters, like we did on the front sign. And then hit that with a glowing sack. And then we'll swing back up on the front end once again. Up here, we're actually going to change this central top block in the middle into a netherite block right here. Then we're going to place a birch door here on the front, two oak trap doors like this in front of it. Then a single oak trap door on this fence, one on top of this fence, and then one on top of this fence right here. Then on this front landing leg in front of the door, take a case of fence gates, put two here, one here for the ladder. Then we're going to come up here, one block behind this door, put a polish andesite block here and here. In front of it, an upside down polish andesite stair facing outward on either side of the door. Then two polish andesite blocks here and here to frame that in. Then two iron bars on either side of the door on the front. Then take polish andesite stairs again, put an upside down stair facing outward on this top corner block here. Same thing on the other side, an upside down stair facing outward right here. On top, we're going to put a black concrete on this stair and this stair. Then above this door, we need a single polish andesite block like this. On the second block back, put a tinted glass here and here for the windows. So it looks like this from the front. Now come up here. On each black concrete, put a dark oak trap door, a polish andesite block in the middle, and open two birch men's gates like this above the door. Then put a polish andesite slab here and here. Then on top, behind that, above the windshield in the middle, do three wide of black wool here. And on either side of it, put an outward facing black stone brick stair right side up on either side of the top like this. Then grab a birch fence gate and we're going to come under this bottom corner. And we're going to place a sideways fence gate right here and right here. Then on this side behind that fence gate, we're going to do three polish andesite here and we're going to raise this up to the top so it's all four blocks tall like this. Then down in this corner, put two upside down black stone brick stairs here, like that, and a dark oak trap door here. Above it, put three cauldrons, and above that, we're gonna put three black stone brick slabs like that. Then we'll do our other side, which is slightly asymmetrical. So we're gonna come back here behind this birch fence gate. Put three polish andesite blocks here, and then raise this up to the top so it's four blocks tall. Then down here, we're going to take polished deep slate stairs, two upside down stairs, and two right side up stairs above it, so it looks like this. Then we're going to swing around to this back end. Back here, we're putting a polished andesite top slab here and here, and then three polished andesite blocks in the middle, and then fill the rest of it five wide to the top with polished andesite blocks. Down here, open a birch fence gate here and here, dark oak trap door in the middle. Above it, in the middle, do two rows of three polished andesite blocks. Then a black stone brick slab on the middle here, and an iron trap door here and here to detail the back end. Next, we'll close off this top gap, so come in here and do this U shape of stone brick blocks like this. Put a birch trap door in here, because that's where it docks to the command module, and around it, put an iron trap door on all four sides. Then. There's a bunch of antennas on the top, so come up front. On the top middle, put an iron bar and close a mangrove trapdoor like this. Then on this left hand side, put a temporary block above this stair, close a birch trapdoor on it, take out the block and change it to a sideways birch fence gate right here. On the middle of the back, we're gonna put two birch fences in a column here. And then on this right hand side, above where this stair is, we're going to open a birch fence gate right here behind that stair. So it looks like that. Now we'll do all the RCS thrusters and there's four sections of it. So in this corner here, put a temporary block here, open a dark oak fence gate going this way and this way. 
change this block to a grindstone like this. And we have three more to go, so come over on this side, same thing. We're going to put a temporary block in this corner right here. Open a fence gate going this way and this way. Change this block to a grindstone. Then come on the back right here. Same thing, add a temporary block. Open a fence gate here and here. Change this to a grindstone. And one more corner to go. We're going to repeat the process right here. Change that to a grindstone. Then we're going to drop down underneath to put on the exhaust deflectors. So take out a polished blackstone wall, put one under this grindstone in the corner here. Repeat for this one, put one under this grindstone right here. And then we'll get the other side, put one under this grindstone right here. And one more corner to go, put one under this grindstone right here. Next, we have to make a single banner. So come into a loom, white banner, red dye, put these stripes on it, and make the top right corner blue. And then we'll come place this flag. So we're going to come up where this item frame is on the front, put it in the item frame, and rotate it so it's going this way. Now we'll work on the interior, so come in inside this door. And we're actually going to add some hidden lighting in here. So we're going to take this middle block out and mine down till you see the ground under there. Then put a sea lantern or lighting block and replace this netherite. And then there'll be some lighting hidden in the engine. Come in here. On the bottom, do this U-shape of smooth stone blocks. Then we're going to put a smooth stone slab here and here. And then on top of each slab, put a redstone comparator, however which way you want it to go. And you can hit them so the controls are lit up. Then on the middle here, we're going to put a glow item frame with a compass. And if it's too dark for you, you can also add a torch in here if you want some more lighting. And now our interior is done and we'll come back outside here. And there we have it folks, we finally completed our Apollo Lunar Excursion Module, Lunar Lander. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. You don't have to build it in the end, I just wanted to complete the look here. And if you enjoyed this, take a look at our Minecraft Rockets playlist because we've also built an entire Saturn V. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week.